Hey everybody! Welcome back to uh, Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm not happy with our last loss, so I'm gonna give you 30 minutes of loss today. I've got my timer set. I don't actually have a timer set. I have, um... I have OBS open, which is how I do business on a regular basis. And I'm gonna give you 30 minutes of the loss. What does that mean? That means that I cannot lose four times and then be like, Okay, well I'm gonna do a Kane run or I'm gonna do a Judas run. People have been asking for the lost. And at the same time, a lot of people have been like, Lost isn't fun, don't play it. You know, I, I'm somewhere in the middle of like both groups there, both camps, if you will. But I play the Lost so rarely that I thought that it is not really like unfair to do one video that is exclusively us playing the Lost. So, um, let, let's give it a try. Consider this my, my comeuppance for having not uh, played the Lost very much recently. Consider this um, probably the last time I'll play The Lost in like the next month or so, so enjoy it for now. So, it, you know, if it ends up being 30 runs, cool. If it ends up being one run that just wins, cool. And, and by the way, if I get to like the end of the game and I'm on minute 29, I'm not just going to be like, well, I just went 30 minutes of The Lost, so it looks like this one's done. That's that's not going to happen. What it is is just like, if, if it is minute 29 and I die, then I will respawn as The Lost. If it is minute 31 and I die, we might end the video, but if it's minute 29 and I die and I respawn as the lost and then our first item room is amazing and we don't die for 10 floors or something like I'm gonna I'm gonna give it my all is what I'm trying to get at. It's basically like that's that's our minimum timer. I like I fucking hate this room. This room is one of the very few examples in Isaac I think of, of poor design where if you're gonna have a character it, it's so minor like I don't mean it like they're a shitty game designers. I just mean that this is something that should probably be fixed if you're gonna have a character where to win with that character you need to never get hit or at least have some form of invincibility um, you shouldn't have that room where you have a champion that basically is guaranteed to explode on you uh, I, I don't really care about that bomb nor do I really care about red chests uh, from second secret rooms because they're so low percentage but we'll try this out and we got first floor widow this can this can be done obviously we're not like super powerful or anything like that right off the bat we're just the lost um, we we didn't even get an item that is of any use to us because swarm protector despite being pretty good is actually like effectively a hundred percent worthless as a character where you can't afford to get hit at all but one bomb is sort of this one out and really you you can't be like oh this run sucks until you get to your uh, deal with the devil on the second floor at that point you could be like well you know what the, the game's about to get harder and we haven't picked up anything that gives us any benefit, so, you know, we feel free to complain at that point. But at this point, it's way too early to, to drop complaints, I think. See if there's any uh, red chests. Mm, golden chests we can't open, but we'll be interested in, in checking that out in the future for sure. We are in the basement, so we have a pretty good chance of actually being able to, to bring this one to fruition, I think. Like, at least getting the deal with the devil. And once you get that deal with the devil... It's it's obviously not over, <laughs> like the the hard part just keeps coming on lost runs. But uh, it's definitely uh, you know plausible that you, you could uh, pick up something that makes the caves easy, and then if you pick up something that makes the caves easy, maybe you get another deal with the devil that makes Necropolis easy, and so on and so forth. And that's great. Uh, I was actually about to say before we entered this room, I was gonna be like, I just hope we don't come across any asshole rooms with mulla booms here, and we did, but we got lucky that there was only one of them. Kind of annoying to avoid still, but uh, no major concerns that I can offer in my own uh, defense or offense here. I don't know what that even means, but you get the idea. We're at 14 cents. Shop is tempting. Uh, okay, let's look for a second secret room here. We got Small Rock, which is exactly what we wanted, if not a second secret room, or both. And that could have been a second secret room too. We'll go for it, and uh, I'm no big fan of the dingle fight here. But we should be able to just hide out over the poop if we want, and, and that'll make our lives a little bit easier. I don't think he can hit us if we're hiding out over the poop. So what are we looking for from a deal with the devil? Um, all the deals are free. I would love to get something that's high damage and something that uh, makes it so if we die as the lost, we can still come back as the loss. And the only thing I can think of that is like that is uh, is Guppy's Hairball. Even though it only gives us a 50% chance, I'd like to have it. Range upgrade, at least we can use on, like, Super Bandage. And we get Abaddon, Book of Sin. So I don't think Abaddon changes our character, so I'll, I'll be happy to have it. Gives us some extra damage. And now we have a Space Bar item in the form of Book of Sin. 
not immediately useful, of course, but um, don't don't let me th say like this is a one run or anything like that right now. But it's it's a pretty good start, you know. Small Rock plus Abaddon is a a pretty nice damage bonus on this floor. We may actually choose. Thank God, there's a key in here. We may actually choose not to blow up Tinted Rocks anymore because we already have Small Rock. So I would be looking for our Golden Chest, but we can't afford to open Golden Chests anyway. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough keys yet. Let's see what our item room gives us here. Of course, we're still... It's tempting. Uh, we're still on the lookout for the, the be-all, end-all items, of course. Um, Holy Mantle, in particular, nine lives also. I guess that's what I should have asked for, is nine lives, but... Not like it makes a difference one way or the other what we asked for. This is yet another damage upgrade. So that's relatively solid. I'm gonna try... I'm happy to have the money, honestly. Uh, I will blow these up as well, because you never know if a card could be very much in handy. The Chariot could be. Probably we'd be looking at like a Joker or something like that. Two of Spades would also be fine. Good. So we'll use Two of Spades, take the Chariot with us. I'm gonna open this one. We got a bomb, two bombs and a little bit of money. That's fine. I don't really want to go to the Mob Trap room because it scares me. So, or Boss Trap room because it scares me, even with the Chariot card. So, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll check for a second secret room here. That seemed very likely. And it's a fortune teller, which I will play, because we have a lot of money. Lucky Rock could be good. Want to watch out for flies here, though. Um, but also, we could get fortune teller. Or sorry, crystal ball. We could get crystal ball. Crystal ball would be awesome. Got the devil card. Would, I think the chariot's probably better just for survival's sake. But for now, we're going to pick up a burnt penny, which I think is better than petrified poop. Bombs could end up coming very much in handy. And we're probably going to blow this thing up anyway. I'm going to take it all the way down, though. Two of diamonds. We'll pop it. We didn't want anything else from our uh, from our shop. So we can, again, just continue to afford to do this. Hero font. I mean, good to have, I guess. Except not at all. Maybe if we get a D20 somehow on the rest of the floor. I think that's probably pretty unlikely, though. Either way, we're like seven minutes in, so we killed like almost a quarter of my uh, of my punishment here. <laughs> I do like playing the Lost, and I gotta admit, this run's actually pretty good. We did get Crystal Ball, so we will take Crystal Ball, um, and this is this is good. We don't really want the Spirit Hearts, but the mapping from it is going to be more useful than I think the consumables from Book of Sin. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna get a lot of Spirit Hearts we can't use, but so be it. Basically, it's just life. The mapping is is integral to our chances for success. This is also something we have to do. Because the odds of there being a guppy payout in there is just... They're high enough that I have to take the risk. And we did a good job of actually, like, farming those up. Okay, I, I hesitated to use the chariot, and I'm glad I did. Because it looks like we'll probably be able to get out of this room without having to use it. But let's also just keep in mind, if we have to use it, we have to use it, right? Like, life goes on. We're getting very, very close to being done with this room. A little scared because of the knockback. Always has the chance to create some issues here, but I'm very thankful that even though this room sucked the big one, we managed to uh, keep the chariot card in case we needed to use it on a room like this. But we're lucky that we can fly. Well, I mean, we are the lost, but... Um, you know, we're, we're lucky that we don't have to use it on this room. It can save it for another room, and the longer that can go on, the better. We really, really need, uh, or would like to have some kind of, some kind of defensive item soon. I'm not just talking about Nine Lives or Holy Mantle. Obviously, those are huge ones, though. If we could get those, then life is great. Um, but I'm talking, you know, even just Halo of Flies or something like that. I mean, I say just, but that is a great item. Not particularly interested in this. I'm I'm getting spooked about the chariot, man. I'm like, every room I'm like, should I use it? Should I use it? Should I use it? And I wonder if that like little bit of brain processing power that's going into that is gonna end up causing me to get hit without using it at one point. I really hope, obviously, that's not the case. We gotta make sure we're not walking into the fire as well. This is a dangerous part of the game. This room should be fine. The faster we can take out uh, the, the Diglets, the better, because they could pop up pretty close to us and, and get a shot off. It's tough for me to dodge. Shouldn't be, like, impossible, but tough. More bombs? Yes. Okay. I think it is a sound choice. Oh, he almost got me. 
I think it's a sound choice to avoid picking it up for now. Instead, we'll head down here. I hate this because these enemies, uh, they just shoot bullets at, at random, random intervals. Well, not random, probably some kind of mathematical formula, but either way. Maybe it is, you know, pseudo-random. I have no idea. What do I know? Uh, let's use this, and it gave us a card. The card is death. So we should be able to come into this room now and be like, you know, fuck off. And it basically worked. And now we got a pill. The pill is paralysis. Glad we used it on a situation that couldn't have hurt us too much. And we have a Hagalaz. Hagalaz is very interesting. I would love to use this. Another card as well. Lovers. Not useful, but um, I would love to use Hagalaz on a room that has a lot of mushrooms on it. Get away from me, you dick! Uh, I'd love to use Hagalaz in a room with a lot of mushrooms on it. So we could blow them up without getting scared for our own life. Which is why I'm actually taking the time to explore a little bit. Now that I think about it, we probably should just take Hagalaz down to the next floor. We'll take Chariot into the boss fight. See who we're fighting here. Mega Ma. Don't be afraid to use Chariot. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! I really should not have had that happen. All right, we'll do the lost thing. We'll check this out. So that's obviously going to kill us. Um, cool. We're, we're 11 minutes in. That run was pretty good. Uh, the, the Abaddon pickup was nice. And the Small Rock pickup was great. Apart from that, you know, we're not really, like, missing out on anything of extreme value uh, by, by having to restart, unfortunately. As much as I would prefer not to. It is what it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, like, I'm down with restart meta now. And I mean that sincerely. Like, I do think a lot of people take it to an unhealthy extreme. Not unhealthy, like they're actually like at risk or anything like that, but um, people will be like, well, the item room's not right next to me. Respawn, 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 etc., etc. when they're playing as a loss. You know, you're entitled to play the game however the fuck you want. You know, you bought it. It's your fucking time. Honor thyself. However, uh, I think that there's something to be said about kind of learning to play the lost. Like, forcing yourself to play the lost in dangerous situations so that you can learn how to play the lost in dangerous situations. Not that it requires a special set of skills, but maybe some practice being under the gun, you know, without having the greatest combination of items in the game's history. So, I would... I, I, I don't disagree with the idea that, you know, you should go into a cursed room right off the bat and then random if it doesn't give you something. You know, that if it has nine lives, you'd be better off doing this. But, um, I also think that uh, people do take it a little too far for my taste, but you know, what do I know? I, I beat the Lost on some pretty uh, amazing runs a long time ago and ha have not done it since. I, I think we've gotten one Lost win since, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm not the be-all, end-all of, of how to play the fucking Lost. I'm just giving you my advice in case you're still working on it. And the other piece of obvious advice is wait for the, the Lost update that is supposed to come with Afterbirth that is going to make the character a lot easier and perhaps even more fun as well. Keep in mind that a lot, a lot easier on the Lost is probably, like, you know... Maybe like a 2.5% chance of winning instead of a 1% uh, chance of winning, so... You gotta take that with a grain of salt, but... I'm scared, honestly, because we're on the cellar and we're fighting Pin in our first boss fight, which to me means that we have a very good chance of Fistula or the Haunt in our second uh, boss fight. Maybe we will explore and try to get the item rooms first. Or maybe we won't, I don't know. Depends what we get from this guy. If we can get like an all stats upgrade, torn photo... Even just a tears upgrade, or a damage upgrade. Do I look like I want super bandage right now? Sure, it makes me the, the prettiest girl at the ball, but still, where the hell is uh, something a little better than this? And you know what? I would actually be pretty stoked if uh, 30 minutes of the Lost ended up being just like three really, really good honest attempts to, to win. Um, instead of like dying on the first floor... Ten times. I know we did uh, restart a couple of times, but that was because I went into a curse room. If the curse room doesn't pay out, you're gonna die anyway. Um, this is not intended to be like Northern Lions montage of lost fails. Like I would like to win here, but also I think that this is like you know if your if your sports team is in a slump, this is like them going on a a bit of a, like a team building vacation or something like that to get reminded of what it means to you know wear the American colors or something like that. I'm bringing it back to like D2, the Mighty Ducks. Um, so I'm thinking that this is a, it has a chance to bump me out of a slump that I've been in. I really like should not have lost some of the runs that I've lost recently. So 
You know, you lose runs you're not supposed to lose, you're playing the character who is destined to lose, and then you're gonna make the best of a bad situation. Maybe that's what I'm trying to get at, but I'm beating around the bush. The Lost is a character that is all about making the best of a suboptimal situation. I think that can teach you some valuable skills. You... I hate myself right now. <laughs> we were just about to get to those two item rooms. And I know people are going to be mad that I'm not showing the seed, so it's going to be tough to replicate that one. But, um, yeah, that still, I still stand by what I said there. Flush. Flush is actually, as far as lost items go, it's got a benefit more uh, from you as the lost than most items, because you can actually use it. it. It moves up in the power rankings, simply, simply because all HP upgrades are worthless, and then, you know, all items that require you to be hit to use them are worthless, so... Really, there's just like a lot less competition for it. I'm not happy to have it. There's a lot of other things I'd rather have, but it's okay. About 15 minutes in here. I think we're getting some good loss practice. Can't lie, I am a little bit looking forward to when it's over. Uh, <laughs> so I can... I don't know how I hit him to start with there, but uh, a little bit looking forward to when it's over and getting back to maybe all characters, randoms or something like that. Maybe we'll do a few random runs. I'm, I'm kind of like... I want to get out of the mindset right now of, like, every starting from zero is an attempt at a 100 streak. And instead just be like, you know, let's take the pressure off for a minute. This is, we're back in training camp, you know, we're just trying to put together a good performance so coach is happy. Um, we don't need to be busting off 100 streak, one loss, 100 streak, one loss, 100 streak, one loss all the time. Take a little bit of the pressure off, have fun, smile, play the lost, and learn how to not get hit. You gotta be close to done. Okay, uh, a speed upgrade. Not a problem. Next floor is uh, is where it all comes together for us one way, one way or the other, and we're very lucky, I think, to be on the basement. Um, we're a little too fast, which means not that we are too fast, strangely enough, but that I need to take some time to adjust to it. This is um, me, my way, I should say, of saying I should slow down when I enter rooms because there's a good chance I could walk into some fire or something like that, so just take a second to survey a room when you walk into it. I realize I have not used flush yet. Uh, I think flush is kind of like a feast or famine item. We don't want to use it willy-nilly if it's not necessary. It's not like, um, you know, Book of Belial or something like that. Um, where even if you don't need it, you get a benefit from it. Much better for us to save this for a big room or a room full of asshole enemies, kind of like these ones, that would uh, really benefit from uh, them not existing. Let's put it that way. This room does not qualify either. Sadly, we are a little bit bereft of bombs. Otherwise, I would be... Uh, very excited about the opportunity to finish this one off and, and maybe get a black market. Oh my, we have to try to get a black market. It's too essential. I just realized we're playing the Lost. This is dangerous. Um, Libra means that all stats are going to be balanced at all times. But because we had such a good speed stat, I think our damage has gone way up now. Now please be a black market, black market stopwatch. Not a dirty room. It's a clean room. Now, it's going to be a crawl space, but it could be a black market as well. Just a crawl space, but it's a crawl space with Book of Shadows, and that's invincibility. Now, if we could get like a, a, a not a nun's habit, but a 9 volt and a AAA battery or something like that, we, we gain the ability to use this every room. So we do have an out that otherwise would have looked not possible for us to have. Small rock, please. Remember, everything's going to be an all stats upgrade now, but still. Um, Let's do it. That's Nun's Habit. I can't really justify Nun's Habit, but I really feel like we should buy something. You know, I'm like, we should buy um, Hive Mind just in case we get a Mom's Wig or something like that. Or we could save our money for the future, but it's it's so risky, you know? Let's just get ready for uh, Book of Shadows here first. It's Larry Jr. Why not, right? Like, just take advantage of the fact that we have Book of Shadows. The invincibility is going to last decently long. Don't be afraid to, to waste a bomb. Speed up the fight, because this deal with the devil is so important. If you can get nine lives, it's another all stats upgrade. Maybe two all stats, technically, although minor. Uh, and we get Rodden Baby. I think Rodden Baby does push us just enough to, to the point where we're like, we should buy Hive Mine now. Okay, this is yet another decent run. Just don't accidentally buy something else, unless it's a battery, like the charge there which might be decent who um this is this is pretty wild I, I'm not comfortable being like oh this is a win but I think we have a pretty good chance to survive the next floor and if we survive the next floor um, 
Then we got a pretty good chance to get a deal with the devil, or like a, a chance to get a deal with the devil, and then who knows what comes after that. Ooh, do, 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 do. Exciting. 19 minutes here. This could be, but probably will not be our last lost run, if we're being honest. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, this is a weird one, because Book of Shadows is so good. But the D6 really gives us the potential to... Fuck! <laughs> oh, man, okay. Well, that's that's the lost. Here we go. Let's clear that run from our memory. It was going pretty well. To be honest with you, I thought that the Libra thing was a little bit of a long shot. So, I, um... I'm not surprised with the way it worked out. I am disappointed, because that uh, Rotten Baby Hive Mind stuff was working out pretty nicely. Crazy levels of speed right now. That's one of the items we would have loved to have had in our last run. It'd be interesting to see what we would have done, or what we would have gotten, if we put down Book of Shadows for the D6 and then rerolled Book of Shadows immediately. Maybe we don't take damage on that room. I don't know. That was just kind of like, they're those enemies that have kind of unpredictable shots. And I, I could have gotten out of the way, but I don't I don't put too much blame on myself for that. Those enemies are tough to dodge, even at the best of times. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my lord. Keys? No, just a bomb. That's okay. There's a key. I'm gonna use it to open the golden chest, because something like Tammy's head might be great right now. Uh, give us petrified poop. I know the petrified poop could give us a lot of money here, or a decent amount of money at least, but I feel the desire and the compulsion to stick with AAA battery in case we get a good space bar item, I don't want to forget it. I would like to use a bomb here. I have used this bomb, and I feel bad about myself. So, this is going to be a long fight. However, we do have uh, an orbital coming at it if we don't get hit. And let's be honest, we can't, we could get hit here, but we probably don't have a very good excuse to. Like, this is a boss that we should be able to beat probably like 75% of the time without taking a hit. Unless we're playing super up close and personal because we have like a uh, sacrificial dagger or something like that. So the orbital's a bit of a double-edged uh, sword because, you know, we want to use it offensively to hit enemies, which we can't really justify doing. But the fact that it's going to give us some defense to bullets could end up saving our run, so I'm not going to complain about it too hard here. We got to have one run that kind of stretches a little further than the caves, otherwise this is going to feel like a, like a botched episode, you know? Not that, I mean, I feel like we've been trying. I hope that that comes across. Like, I, it's not like I have just been, like, throwing every single run. I think we've been putting in a, a good, honest effort here. Now, we do need a key on this floor. Without a key, um, one really nasty boss could end up completely fucking us, basically. Uh, one in particular I'm thinking of. I gotta admit, we haven't fought the hot yet uh, on this run, so I'm pretty happy with the way that RNG has worked out for us in that regard. Not every item has worked out, but that's, you know cost of doing business. Thank God they stayed further away than I thought they would, otherwise we would be dead right now. Alright, stay back. Two extra bombs. Would be nice to find a way into a curse room this way. It's one of the things that unfortunately we've been pretty much completely unable to access so far as curse rooms. Just break open the dips, because I don't like them compromising my ability to dodge. Okay. Okay. Find the item room. Get Death's Touch, beat our boss. Find the item room, beat Death's Touch, or get Death's Touch, beat our boss. Find the item room, eat Death's Touch, greet our boss. I'm ready. Gotta try it. Don't have to. But I did, and I'm actually really happy with the way that it turned out. No Tinted Rock here. Always a bit of a piss off. You're like, come on, there's like 30 rocks here, and yet no chance for small one. Potentially uh, very interesting. I can't even run the permutations in my head for like what we would do with blank card, like what we'd like to see. Um, Algis, <laughs> blank card chariot, blank card Algis, like something along those lines. Blank card Joker would be incredible. Any any teleport would at least allow us to go to curse rooms. Uh, I think we have to go to our shop in case there's a card for sale. Lovely. Um, come on, 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 come on. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be there. What am I thinking? All right, let's try here, and then we'll just go into the shop. 
It's an eternal heart. Beautiful. Um, go into the shop. Shop does not have a card for sale. So, instead, we will leave and fuck. Alright. Pin! It's pin again! Incredibly lucky. I am stoked about blank card. Obviously, we have to get something to use it, but this is yet another opportunity for us here. All we have to do is beat pin, which is why I'm standing way away from him, even though I would normally love to use our orbital here to deal some extra damage. Um, we, we get a deal with the devil here. Every deal with the devil is a chance, man. And if this pays out with, like, nine lives, all of a sudden, one random hit from a uh, from an enemy doesn't kill us anymore. Well, it kills us, but it doesn't end our run anymore, you know, if we're being super semantic about it. Screw is good. Guppy's Collar gives us a theoretical chance to come back. <laughs> it's not a good chance, but it's a theoretical chance. Well, it depends on your definition of good chance. I don't, I don't think 50% is a particularly good chance, but it is better than zero. Okay. So we're still looking desperately for cards here, and really, almost any card in the game is going to be seen as a pretty enormous uh, coup for us relative to what we've been dealing with before. Anytime we can use the architecture of a room to uh, our advantage, I think we should take advantage of this. I really don't want to do that big room right now. That was lovely, okay. Okay, we're going to ignore the big room as long as we can. Red chess. Golden chests are extremely tempting. If only I had some means of teleporting that I could take advantage of. Well, this is a this is a wild one. What do you do here? Uh, I think you have to just do the big room. And this could be bad, but shouldn't be as bad as if I didn't have the ability to fly. Because I have the ability to fly, I can just... Come on, pop up, pop up. Because I have the ability to fly, I can hang out in a, a space that's less dangerous. Uh, I.e. like behind these turrets and stuff like that gives me a pretty easy out. So we're just gonna try to keep them all in a relatively decent sight line. And then we'll we'll bring them all down here. We have our shop right away as well. So we have item room and shop in very, very close succession. Two dead. One's gotta be very close as well. Shouldn't trap myself in there. Didn't hear any die, but that's okay. There we go. Probably this guy's like one hit. Two hits? We'll never know. Just be cool. Thank God the loss starts with the ability to fly. Okay, Capricorn, why not? All stats up, man. Uh, even if we don't get HP out of it, it's still good. It's an interesting one. Uh, I mean, right off the cut, you'd be thinking there's options because we can choose. Oh, fuck. Never mind. That was a great picture of Boney there. Um, Jesus. I think it's, it's been tough, man. This is why this is why the Lost is so dangerous. So so tedious oftentimes. Um, this might be like our last genuine attempt here. We're at 28 minutes. So you know what? I kind of feel like maybe we should just take a minute and actually do a reset meta. So we can actually get our best chance possible at a great seed. You never know that one of these could be a telepills. Range up. Ah, explosive diarrhea. We're done. Okay, restart. Restart. This is going to be bad for our streak, but there's never been a better time to have it bad for our streak. Guppy's collar. There's a chance! But if we die, we're just going to respawn outside of this room. Oh, no, no! We did it! <laughs> okay. This, this is worth it, I think. I think this is a decent enough start. Uh, I love this room, by the way, with the ability to fly. We need uh, some bombs to make it work, but if we can get like a cricket's head or something here. All right, so we got one guppy item already. It's a start, a very small start. This is pretty much where we were on our last run. But if we can get like a good item room on top of this and start building out, I'm feeling all right. Bombs. Bum penny, not interested. Oh, revenge fly is an orbital, but it only really does damage after we take damage. So that's a real piss off. It, I mean, it does orbit, but I don't think it's particularly good. Okay, let's use the, one of these. Like, fuck the spirit heart. Or, fuck the, uh... Um, tinted rock. Instead, we're just gonna try this. And that, I'm glad that it worked out like this. Because now we can drop another one, like, right here. 
And we got a lot of keys out of it. That's great. It's very good news. And now we can blow up the tinted rock anyway and hope for a small rock. I gotta admit that this doesn't really feel like the run right now, but whatever. We gotta give it a try. Second secret room? Oh, we can't get to it anyway. Alright. Pin. Thank God that we just perpetually end up fighting Pin on the first floor. Like, this is an enormous help. I appreciate it a great deal. I'm, I'm actually being a little ballsy knowing that we don't have... I mean, I, I'd probably do, like, one more good attempted restart if that failed. And Guppy's Collar brought us back. Okay, fuck it. Let's do this. The game wants us to succeed on this run. It's brought us back twice. Let's not forsake the game. I'll admit, I'm, I'm coming close to the end of my uh, my rope with the loss right now. I, I like to play the loss like hour, 30 minute bursts, something like that. Um, so I don't get too burnt out on it. I don't end up being one of those people. I don't mean like an insult at all to Nick with this sentence, but like Nick who would spend like, you know, four hours playing as the lost, fuck up one run that had a, a half decent chance, and then be like, I hate this character, it sucks, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm, I have the luxury, thankfully, of being like, you know, we've already beaten the loss, so we don't have to grind it out. We can just enjoy it as kind of like a palate cleanser from time to time. Range up is something. Let's head down to the next floor. This is gonna be it for the lost, so... Let's make it count. Oh, reroll my shit. Key beggar. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take us down to two. I'm gonna take us down to one. I hate you. I hate you, but I know you can give me an attack fly or something, so... I, I mean, any key is worth, or any any uh, item that you can give me that can deal damage is worth its weight in fucking gold pieces right now. So this is the cellar, and that scares the shit out of me. Hopefully we'll fight famine. But even more hopeful than that, hopefully we'll just be able to um, get Guppy on this floor. Nine lives, Guppy's head. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. They, look. If we, if we win this run, even if we get, like, great items from this point onwards and win, Guppy's Collar carried us. It will be a lucky lost win. I, I feel no shame in that, by the way. I feel like that would be a great way to live my life. If, if they want to give me great items from this point onwards and just let the game finish itself off, fine by me. So, yes, we have, uh, we have Nod Leaf now. I'm going to be a scumbag. And I'm going to take advantage of Nod Leaf, and if enemies want to get close to me and blow themselves up, this is great as far as I'm concerned. I have no problems whatsoever. Yes, rush me down, please. I demand it. Oh. B E A beautiful. This is this is interesting. In a very strange universe, this gives us a chance to win as the lost. It is going to be the world's longest run in human history. That's its own record. Worth, worth talking about. I'm gonna take some time to actually do this room. Because I hate it. I fucked that one up, but at least I opened up another vector for me to shoot through. Um, great stuff. What's the pill? What's the pill? Full health. Incredible. Um, stand still. This should be fine. It's probably not the ideal way to fight bladed ovum, but it should be okay. And at the very least, this gives us a deal with the devil chance. We can do this. Guppy's Collar, you are a goddamn hero. Stay still. Stay still. I don't think the creep can hurt you, but why risk it? Safety pin. We got Abaddon. Guppy's Tail. We're now one item away from becoming Guppy. And Headless Baby. Oh, baby! We have a chance. <laughs> we have a literal chance. What do we do here? We wait for... This is the worst room. We're gonna wait for these guys to spawn next to us. I'm assuming they never will. But we, we can do something we don't always have the luxury of doing on this room, which is play pretty conservatively. And you know, if we, if we don't like our shot, we don't have to take it right away. Just whittle them down. And again, you know, like every room, basically, the more enemies you kill, the easier it becomes to finish the room. Try not to give them too many openings, either. We're done! We did it, okay. Whew. This is fine, stay still. We got no problems with this room. It might take uh, 10, 20 minutes for them to get here. That's okay. I'll wait. 
When the lights go down in the city and the sun shines on the lost. One of these days that's gonna work. Well, okay. Oh, almost got you there. I'm thinking I should maybe go get some water. It's like getting a little hot in this room and I know I'm gonna be sitting around for a while here. So um, why don't you just enjoy this? Hopefully it doesn't push me back into the other room, but it probably will when they explode. But I can't find an opening to put myself in a better position. Oh, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna get some water. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I have returned. This is gonna be like the easiest Isaac run I've ever done. Because all I have to do is sit here and then commentate. I don't even have to perform at all. Do you blame me for this? Would you walk out into these guys? I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. I'm not gonna, though. Ryan, you said you were gonna get water, but I heard, like, some fizz. Are you drinking soda and lying to us about making a healthy beverage choice? Sparkling water, dog. No problem here. Um, I think I'm gonna take a chance to move. I'm gonna move, like, down here. I wanted to open up basically me not getting pushed out of the way here. I did not mean to open that, but it's okay, we're fine. Um, stand still, stand still. This is an important one to stand still on. If we get nine lives, we are so in the clear it's not even funny. That doesn't mean, by the way, in the clear does not mean guaranteed lost win. In the clear means potential lost win. Let's not get it confused. So I think we've basically found a dead end. This guy will rush me down. After he rushes me down and dies, we will just shoot from across the gap against our other teammate, or our other asshole here. Okay, we're good. Ooh, all right. Um, we've gotten a very, very specific combination of items that can work for us, and I love it. I love AAA battery. Stand still. This one might take forever. If you think I'm scummy for doing this, by the way, yo, by all, if you have real Platinum God, you can think whatever you want. <laughs> if you don't, sometimes this is the cost you gotta pay. Do these guys not shoot randomly? They don't appear to be shooting randomly. If they're not shooting randomly, then I'm not concerned about taking damage. Our DPS is actually great. It would be greater if we could, you know, know that we could not take damage. Or not, not get hit once and die. I don't really want to tempt fate any more than we already have, though. Considering that Guppy's Collar has brought us back from the dead three times. Maybe four? I think it's only three, but still. Like, a little bit ridiculous. Happy about it either way, though. You know, every every lost run needs a little bit of luck thrown in. And if we win this run, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That's not even worth taking because of the speed down. If we win this run, I think... Again, don't get too ahead of yourself. But if we win this run, this is a long shot, but I'm telling you. If we win this run... Which is not super likely, but if we win this run, maybe we'll try to get a two-loss streak. The odds of that happening seem very low to me, but I would also love to have that as a little feather in my cap. But we gotta win this run first. So, this one I think is not as impossible as it seems. I like that he's pushing his friend away. Um, what we'll do is we'll just wait for him to get close, and then he should, like, the guy that pops up should kill him and his friend. Yeah, it makes my life incredibly simple. Please tell me that you will pop up. Please tell me you will not not pop up because of the fact that you're on Headless Baby's Creep. Because as soon as I move, I'm going to get hurt. Fuck. Well, what would you do in this situation? We're going to get... It's a 50% chance we die as soon as we move. Would you wait for him to possibly just... Like perk up. I'm going to wait 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! Guppy's collar. Yo, yo, my collar. You're my gu- Peace collar. Uh, I have to, I have to do one more. That- I threw so hard on that one. That one could have been a win. Let's let's restart till we get this magnificent setup, okay? That's not it. 
I'm tilting. I'm full on tilted now. I should have been able to get further on that last run. That's pretty much entirely my own fault, but it was it was a fun run regardless. We're looking for an item room next to us or a uh, or a curse room. That those are going to be our conditions for starting a run. Um, okay. I don't want to let them kill me, of course. That'd be too easy. I I lectured uh, on not doing this, but I still think that. Uh, this is going to give us the best bang for our buck here. Come on, come on. Telepills. I'm actually somewhat content with this run, but sure, we, we went for broke instead. Good enough? Not good enough, I'm sorry. I'm checking both, and if one's like decent, which this is not, sadly, but we might as well at least pick this up and then check to see if maybe there's a good item in here followed by a, uh, well, a secret room. Which there was, but, I mean, there was a, a secret room, not a good item. Maybe there's magic mush in here? Maybe it's a huge tears upgrade? Pretty fly? Oh my god. I, I don't think I can justify it. Now, if I'm only going to do one more, it's got to be a little bit better than this. Although, being immune to explosions could be good. Unfortunately, Gimpy is worthless for us. Yeah, maybe that pyromaniac run could have been okay. But, you know, we've made our bed. Let's lie in it here. Maybe you would have started that run, and that's okay. Feel free to press R until you get the same seed that I got, literally speaking. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now this is, whatever run we commit to, is definitely going to be our last run. I actually feel like Rotten Baby is good enough. I don't think it's, um... You know, it's obviously not Holy Mantle or Nine Lives Caliber. But the damage out of Raw Baby is, is really good. And we gotta, you know, I can't sit here for the next 15 minutes respawning until we get literally one of the only items that you need to have a decent chance to beat the loss. So instead, we're gonna try to make this one work on Synergy. I think Rotten Baby is fine. Common Cold is okay. Uh, it's, it's not as good as I've previously given it credit for. But that's fine. Lots of big rooms here. And this is where Rotten Baby is really gonna show its stuff. Instead of killing one enemy every, like, two hits... We're gonna kill, like, two enemies every shot as a result of the the fact that every shot carries a fly along with it as well, so... I'm feeling good! Uh, this is not an incredible coup, but it's something I feel okay with starting with, and, uh... I think you gotta, if you're watching this episode, I hope that you're not watching it like, Wow, Northern Line really threw. That, that Invincible run that I threw? Yes, that was a throw. But, uh, I've been trying, man. This is not just me being like, well, people want me to play the Lost, so I'm gonna play the Lost. You know, I'm gonna get it out of the way and then, you know, fuck it. You know, I'm here 12 minutes after I said that I would not be because I really want to... I want to put down a run that is a little bit more impressive than the ones that, uh, unfortunately, I've done so far. This one is not the strongest, but it has potential. And, of course, it's all about this deal with the devil. This deal with the devil sets the tone. Lots of money. Enough, we can go to our shop and buy Hive Mine, maybe. Obviously, you're blowing up Tinted Rocks in the hopes that they are um, small rock and, and pretty much nothing else, but sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Would be awesome to get a decent trinket as well, like a Master of Unlocking or something like that. Poison Touch, again, uh, helps us out pretty much exclusively if we get an odd leaf. So, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope here, but you never know. Health up. Not interested. <laughs> bomb for a bomb, the bang, the bang, dicky. Got a spear at heart, can't put it up my pinky. Doesn't really make any sense. Actually came out sounding kind of gross. Two bombs gives us a chance at getting into this item room. If the secret room is adjacent to it. Which I don't think it is. It looks like it's down there, but maybe it's adjacent to our shop, which would also be fine. We don't have two bombs, though. We only have one bomb, so we got a, we got a ways to go before we're fine here. At least we're on the basement. Got a key. We'll use that key to go to the item room first. Little Gish. Um, I'm happy. It's a slow... Not obviously something that is the be-all, end-all, but, you know, if, if we're not looking... Or if we're not banking on a be-all, end-all showing up until it does, might as well have something that, you know, is a good part of a winning team. So, thank you, Little Gish. I appreciate it. Welcome to the show. We'll get that key. Uh, we'll go to the shop because something like Hive Mind would be really good. And we're just gonna buy something. The jar! This is awful. It's it's the worst. We can't do anything with it. And I'm using bombs to try to find small rocks still. If the bombs find me bombs, I guess that's okay. 
little bit of a waste, but... You know, I don't like using bombs to look for small rock, but... We gotta do what we gotta do. Most of the time, these bombs are wasted. We could use those instead to find, like, secret rooms or something like that, but... The small rock is valuable if we have extra, so... I guess I'm treating these ones as extras. Okay, this boss should be doable, you know. We've got a, a pretty nice run here. Don't get hit, for fudge's sake. Nice. Uh, not nice. Can't open it anyway. What do we got? What do we got? Dingle. Dingle, uh, one of the tougher basement bosses. But we can hide behind the poop. We can also hide on top of the poop if we wanted. Ooh, do you see that? I had to move because he got a little too close there. So he's half dead. I am actually pretty slow, which scares me. But the flies are doing what flies do. Come on, DPS and the greatest deal with the devil. Blue cap is fine. Three deals. Demon baby. Judas's shadow. Dead cat! Okay, but this is fucked up. Because we picked up Judas's shadow before dead cat. So I'm pretty sure if we get hit, we will come back as dark Judas. So in a weird way, like, I think I still can't get hit. Because it, okay, so I'll come back as Dark Judas. Then every time I die, won't I come back as Dark Judas again? This is, this is the shit that is, well, you know what? It makes it a very classic Northern Lion run, doesn't it? If we, uh, beat the game as the Lost, we'll actually get the credit as Dark Judas if we ever take damage. Unless maybe we have Guppy's Collar holding it down. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm still going to be operating under the principle that we, we can't get hit. We can get hit and win the run. But we can't get hit and, uh, and win the run the way we want to win the run. So, we're still on the clock as far as I'm concerned. But this is exciting. At least we know we have like a way out of this one. It's going to be like a long video if we end up taking it through to fruition. But we'll do it nonetheless. Celtic Cross. Uh, this is effectively meaningless for us on our current run, but maybe takes an item out of a deal with the Angel. Why we would want to do that is is very much beyond me. But there is at least one perhaps unseen synergy. How it helps me, I do not know. Dead Bird pretty much functions exactly the same way. This is fucking meaningless to us in our current situation. That really feels like a secret room. Don't turn and shoot sideways, you dick fuckers. So what am I hoping for now? Uh, not flatworm so much, but uh, if I could get a uh, magic mush here would help. Okay. If I could get a deal with the devil on this floor with two guppy items. I, almost like I need holy mantle is what I'm thinking. Like holy mantle is actually the only item that will save us. It's really some next level bullshit if you need a holy mantle and nine lives. <laughs> Usually you need one or the other. In our very unique situation here, it appears that we may need both. Hilarious. But we do have ten lives, so there is that. And Dark Judas at least gives us an out if we get hit, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. What about this? I found pills. We'll take it. Just to, I want to hang back as much as possible and, and get my flies to do the dirty work for me because they do an awful lot of damage, so... Seems like it would be foolish for me to not take advantage of that. Very scary. This is an XL floor, so we know that, you know, we have a long way to go maybe until we get our boss fights, but... Once we get them, I'm, I'm gonna do some stuff very quickly and hopefully sort it out. What am I hoping for? Maybe one of them would be uh, the Fallen, and if we get one Fallen boss fight... Even if we don't get a deal with the devil, you know, we have outs that we wouldn't have otherwise normally expected. It's a weird situation, though. This is, um, this is a run where I don't really know how to call it. <laughs> is it a win? I don't know. Is it a loss? All I know is that we are the lost. If we die, we may or may not be the lost. Again, weirdly enough, if we died... If... I wish I knew how this worked. If we died as Dark Judas and respawned with nine lives... I hope that we would respawn as the Lost, but I don't know if maybe we respawn as, like, one heart, just like a one heart generic character, or if we respawn as Dark Judas, or if we respawn as the Lost again. If I knew we respawn as the Lost, I would be incredibly happy right now. Without knowing that, I'm just 
I mean, I hope you're not annoyed by the fact that I'm taking forever to explain this, because it really is like a, you know, 1 in 500 level synergy here that only applies on runs that are as weird as this shitty one right here. Not that this run is shitty, it's actually, like, pretty decent. If only I'd picked up the items in a different order. If... Uh, why not? Give it a try. Oh, it cannot. <laughs> Thankfully, we got our key back. Um, but if only I'd picked up... Uh, Right to left instead of left to right. Thank you, fly. Then we wouldn't be in this situation. We'd be like, oh shit, we have nine lives. That's incredible. We're, we're balling out of control. But oh well. This is the situation we're in. And I'm happy, at the very least, to be able to provide an entertaining, hopefully, conclusion to this run. So happy we have the jar, by the way. Huge fan. Starting with Peep. Peep is not a particularly simple fight, but we are not particularly weak right now. So it really comes down to these eyes. If we can keep away from these eyes, we don't have to worry about creep. Second eye is in play already. Just get as many of these fucking flies as you can. He should be dead. That was great. DPS. That is DPS. And then Gertie, always a little bit scary just because of the sheer tankiness. you got to maintain a lot of focus here. But our flies are going to be a lot better because of Magic Mushroom, and our tears are going to be a lot better because of Magic Mushroom. And you can see we're chewing it up pretty nicely. Now, deal with the devil, no Krampus. Deal with the devil, no Krampus. Just damage. I'm okay with this. Let's head down. Oh, what is floating in this water? It's like a piece of cat hair. Oh, oh. Get out of there! I got... It's like a foam piece of my mouse pad. Whatever. Delicious. Oh god. I drank it. It's not in there anymore. Alright. Here's our seed. Our damn why dav Hate these guys. I'll tell you that much right now. We lived. Um... This is a big floor for us. We're one guppy item. No, we're more than one guppy item away from a deal with the devil. But we could always like use some more damage here. I'm starting to believe we have a chance to get through this without getting hit. We gotta keep upping our damage like drastically floor to floor. This helps, this helps a lot. And these could be more valuable than I could even imagine. Another familiar is fine, even if it is shitty ghost baby. Magician is basically meaningless. Judgment could be worth uh, a mapping item. We don't, and maybe some consumables as well would not be so bad. Okay, can't do anything there. Okay, can't do anything there. We actually have a chance to get the boss rush as well, which is kind of hilarious to me. You're really gonna drop three red hearts? Fanny pack. What a waste. Um, well, now we have some hearts in our jar. That might be the first time I've ever seen that visual effect. These enemies start to get very annoying now. Enemies that can teleport and, you know, jump on top of you without you knowing. Enemies that spawn other enemies. Enemies that uh, explode in a hail of bullets when they die. We should get that bomb, because there is a Tinted Rock. But at this point, I'm like, man, maybe the cards are more valuable. If we can get a Teleportation card, that might just give us, like, a way out of the, uh, of the boss rush fight. And if we get a way out of the boss rush fight, like, is that not the most valuable thing we could get? Like, a free item and not having to fight the bosses for it? A free item, a free item, free item of our choice can be very, very valuable. Almost walked right into that. Okay, well, we gotta see if we get Cricket Set or something, Tammy said. We got two bombs, which is fine. This feels like a secret room to me. Not super thrilled with this turn of events. Just keep it going. All we really need to do is, like, land the flies. We don't need to get as close as you might think. We have not been to the shop, but we may go to the shop here. Let's just fight the boss first. Gish. It's actually something I, I thought about bringing up, but was like, ah, it's probably not going to matter. It was that now that we have little Gish, if we fight regular Gish, we're going to get a different item. 
But it's not really, like, this is not the relevant part of our current uh, video here. The relevant part of our current video is whether or not we get a deal with the devil after this. Mom's knife. Brimstone. Death's touch. More guppy items. We, just give me as many deals as you can handle, because I can take them all on. Uh, I mean, we can't do anything with that. Maybe we'll get a reroll. Don't make me fight fucking Krampus. Well, if you do, which you're going to, obviously, let me get Lump of Coal. I'm gonna need that land. Okay, well, actually, we head of Krampus, you know, we didn't have anything. Anyway, um... This is Depths 1. We're like six minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush. This is ridiculous. What do I want here? I guess I just want the key. It's hoping for like a hive mind or something along those lines. We can do something with this! Let's head on, I guess. I picked that up and got so scared. Okay, we're going down to the depths too. This would be a really good floor to find a teleportation card. Those are not red chests. Um, basically, fuck these dudes. I hate your homing shots. Most of all, I hate the way I don't hate you, not even a little, not even at all. We are going to get rid of Petrified Poop to hold left hand though. You know, there is a blessing there. Oh... Flies. This is our time to shine. Can't be afraid to play defensively here. Um, the fact that we know there's a telepills gives us an out that we didn't previously have for getting to boss rush, getting through boss rush, I should say. Uh, gotta keep our distance from these guys. Man, I'm so glad we have all these status effects that give us like a pretty easy way out for dealing with these mother truckers, you know? Oh, don't spawn a fly! Hit the fly that you spawned and then change direction on me in a heartbeat, you dirty dog. We got a fucking moon card. This is a huge out for us. The only question is, do we want to use it to get out of the curse room instead? What's our other card? It's uh, the Magician. That's not very good at all. Alright. Well, let's see if we can get another teleportation card. We don't have to rush through this floor. We could, though. I think we just move on for now and we say boss rush is more important than the alternative, which is uh, which is that curse room for now. But we're definitely going to stay on the lookout for another teleport card. Great stuff. Good moves. This is not really what I was looking for as someone who already has another slow, but I'll take it. Uh, and we'll be very scared as we move along here. But we've made a good show of this at the very least. 30 minutes of the loss turns into, you know, 57 minutes of the loss. Not done yet. We need more bombs, please. Was it worth it? I'm still here, so as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much the only criteria that matter to me. Just wanted to make sure those were not going to change direction in a heartbeat like the last one. Unlimited keys. It's something. I need more teleport cards, though. More bombs so I can blow up more things, get more teleport cards. I, well, you know what? We can always just fight the boss now, then come back. I think... I, I know blank card is interesting here. I know PhD is interesting. I think I have to take this to speed up the fight against Mom. Basically, five cents just fucked Mom. We didn't have to spend the five cents. Just be very careful. My dodging is suboptimal because I keep covering the same ground I just covered. We did it, we did it, we did it. Okay. Make it simple. Polaroid, everything in here is mine. I don't want your fucking razor blade, but we'll take it. This is a big one if we get a holy mantle. We got an option for blank card again. This is the worst! Okay. Let's go over this. Lifesteal, useless. HP, useless. Dark Bomb gives us HP, ergo useless. Occasional spiders. Um, blank card, maybe, maybe has a chance. If we get a good rune or something to go along with it, or a chariot card, to be good. So I'm going to say that this is a sign that we should take blank card, and I'm going to move along. But I am not happy about this. 
Um, so we have blank card magician right now is is our active combination. Uh, we also could have stuck with Krampus's head. That may end up looking like the right decision in hindsight. This is our floor right here. So we cannot go to uh, that curse room. Unless maybe, uh, no, a bomb on the shop doesn't do anything for us. And this blank card magician. We'll see what's in the arcade. Maybe there's a judgment. There is a judgment. I don't think we can play demon judgments without uh, dying. That's probably something you want to know before you try. Cool. Fantastic. Mapping. Just give me some mapping, you you dirty son of a bitch. Oh, I hate you. Okay. Well, we're maybe we want to do this room very quickly. Just see what it is. It's bombs. So I'm feeling pretty stoked. This motherfucker did end a run of mine recently, but we're doing more damage than that now. It's just the husk. Please drop a card that is better. Chariot. Uh... On Seuss. I know that we've lost it already. Mapping in, the, in, any, in any form. The sun, for example. Um, apart from that, what we're really looking at is next floor's deal with the devil. We don't have a great chance to get it, but we have a chance. I could, I could pick up Krampus's head and take it with me instead of going blank card magician, but I'm holding out hope that this blank card is going to be the change we want to see in the world. Even though it's exceptionally unlikely. Oh! <laughs> That's risky. Thank God for uh, Rotten Baby, man. Who would have thought that the Rotten Baby pickup would end up being the one that would uh, give me the best chance of victory here? I did. That's why I took it. You smarmy sons of bitches. Uh, red chest. Red chest at night. Sailor's duress. Doesn't really make any sense. One red chest. Man, that is like super not worth it. Unless it is. I can't believe we're still here. And this is like, this is not even Guppy's Collar having saved me. This is just us not taking damage for the whole run, which is kind of amazing. And by kind of, I mean like really fucking amazing. Oh, I just, I can, I could feel little brimstone in my balls. We don't have it, but I could feel like a phantom limb of little brimstone being like, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me, because it would it would ruin Teratoma's life there, or Fistula, I forget which one it actually was. Alright, for fuck's sake, don't give me HP. I mean, like, I, I'm, I figured you would drop that, I just meant, like, consumable-wise, don't give me HP, I don't need it. Pills. Pretty fly, so happy to have it. I can't be a poor sport about that one. Easy enough. Oh, blank card strength. Kicks the shit out of the magician, but still pretty bad. But at least gives us, you know, some kind of statistical bonus. I'm already like, this is going to be harder than our boss fight, probably. But I shouldn't jinx it, because who knows what our boss fight's going to look like. Interesting. Having an all stats upgrade for the boss fight, I enjoy immensely. You give me Guppy. But you bring me pleasure. Oh, I played fast and loose. And we got the fucking nail. The nail! It does nothing! Crawl space, crawl space, crawl space, crawl space, black market, crawl space, black market, crawl space. Well, this is our run, boys. Let's do it! I am excited and not at all scared. Not at all feeling like we probably should have been dead ages ago. Very small chances for upgrades now. This is one. That's fine. I'm happy to have been in the mix. You know, I'm happy to have had a red chest to give me some hope. I really thought we were about to get hit there. Thank you to all of... <gasps> to all of my familiars for helping me out. We're still alive. So many dad ends here. Okay, bad trip strength. Oh, my lord. Oh, he got us! We are back with nine lives. We're not back with Dark Judas. Dark Judas automatically goes to the end. We're not Dark Judas, right? I mean, we, we don't have any HP, and it's not Curse of the Lost. We can't be Dark Judas. The Lost Win. The Lost Win is in our hands. What's in your hands 
in your hands. Last win, last win, last win, 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 win. Last win, it's a win, possibly a last win. Okay, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. But ooh, seriously, like that was, uh, that was interesting. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to cool it, because we still have to win, but we have, like, eight more chances to get hit, which is a huge boon for us. And even if we die, you know, he and my will somewhere, so he can just lay back and chill somewhere, because right there stands a man with the power to make a diamond with his bare hands. For real, though, I'm excited. This, I didn't expect it to work like this, but now that it has, I'm, I'm in, man. I don't know why it worked like that. That's a question that we can talk about after the run is finished, because... For now, I uh, am just happy that we continue to exist in this mortal coil. On this mortal coil? I don't know. Where is other polycephalus? Where are you, polycephalus? Why can't I find you? Why have you hid away? My world is changing. Case in point, we could possibly live as the lost on this thing. Thank you for not respawning me as Dark Judas there. Now I'm like, what I am worried about is the idea that we'll have just a flood of deaths here because now I know that I can die and be okay. But if that happens, know that it's not, I mean, obviously it's not my intention. I'm still not cocky about this one. We can only get hit like seven times non-consecutively. The only reason that I like that and feel confident about that is because it's like a billion more times than we got hit over the course of the entire run thus far. So, it, it does give us an enormous edge over where we were previously standing. How did we dodge? Also, how can she slap, but how did we dodge? Okay, up to the cathedral. I'm ready! Oh, are we actually going to have to start our next run as the Lost? If, I mean, I'm, I'm a man of my word. Obviously, that's not very good. Uh, oh, God, I gotta try. Oh, it's the paw. We're so close. The dream could be real. If we become Guppy on this one, I think we are 100% set. Tears up. That's also really, really good. Why am I not using strength here? Because I, I, I want to... I thought maybe we'd die, honestly. So I thought maybe we just ignore it for now. Guppy's paw, obviously worthless for us, but... Holy crap. Holy Mackinac! The new Cheddar Bacon Back Biscuit Breakfast Sandwich from Tim Hortons. Two slices of thick cut Canadian back bacon sandwiched between a buttery English muffin. Only $2.99. Get yours today. This is not sponsored by Tim Hortons. I've never even had the sandwich. I just think I do an okay impression of Harry Neal at times. Um, Harry Neal. Also, what a great euphemism for your genitals. But uh, let's. Uh, I just wanted to get my hairy Neil wet. I don't know what accent that is, but just go with it. Now, uh, this is this is good. This is great. This is a piece of cake. I mean, it's not a piece of cake at all. It's actually incredibly harrowing. But I think we're going to get a lost win here. And I would not have expected it. Well worth the time investment now, I must admit. Okay, just get, get flies in occasionally. Red chest, red chest. Blank card lovers? Should have taken dark bum. <laughs> Remember, it's useless. Oh, man. We have fun here. So, I hate Daddy Long Legs. I thought about just getting him to blow open a door so we could get out, but I was like... If he can, if we can kill him so we don't have to backtrack through his bullshit room, then that's even better. So, I don't know. We have, like, seven lives left before Dark Judas pops, I think. So, um... With that in mind, you know, we're just gonna hope for good items in the chest still. This would be... Oh, the sun... The sun or the devil? It's kind of tough. I think we're better off with the sun strictly for mapping, so we don't end up losing six lives on a room on the next floor that provides us with no benefit, you know? Doesn't take us close, any closer to the boss fight. Um, it's very unfortunate considering where we are. I'm going to do something probably slightly controversial. I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore because I know I need to drop the left hand. And if we need to drop the left hand, we might as well try to get... Oh, right, we have 
we didn't need to waste our bombs because we got I can we have I can see forever. But um, I might as well look for as many red chests as I can get in the hopes of becoming Guppy. Because finishing that Guppy dream, it it gives us the win. It's not an exaggeration to say that the Guppy dream gives us the win. And we're actually like very very strong. We're taking out enemies quickly. That was incredibly stupid of me. Never should have taken damage there. That was a dead end anyway. This is more my style. <laughs> that room is more my speed. Okay, so we know we're going to have to fight Isaac. Can we beat Isaac without taking damage? It's not going to be easy. Um, but it's, it, it might not be that hard either. So the answer is maybe. <laughs> a big rousing maybe. Authentic Bulgarian Miak. Please drop a red chest because I really, really do not want to do like a huge envy room or something like that over there. To the point that I'm I'm just not going to. So, like, work with me here. I want to rock with you all night if you give me Guppy's head tonight. Nothing. Alrighty. Well, I think it's time for us to go then. We could use the Devil card. Uh, we should use the Devil card on the Isaac fight. We might as well take the money, just in case we get a, um... Just in case we get a, uh, money equals power. Or minus touch, even, although I can't even imagine how that would work. Okay, so we're just gonna use the Devil right away. Stay fresh. Now, the slows are an integral part of the experience. Bubbles from the sparkling water are percolating, distracting me. It's good. We're almost on Angel Fetus stage. Now is where we have to watch out for those, like, special... Fudge. It's alright. There's not really a learning lesson to take away from that, I think. Just get him through that phase as quickly as is fucking possible. Sorry, I gotta focus here for a second. I think you you understand. Sometimes, you know, daddy's gotta work late. Put food on the table. Keep it going. Keep it going. Almost. Oh my god! Did you see the, the intersection that I put myself down there in at the bottom? Oh, that was so frustrating. Now we might as well take the sun in, I guess. But, um... I guess we could use blank card and then use the sun itself on the next floor just to get that little extra damage bonus out of it. This is the hard part though. This is not the easy part of the Isaac fight. Lucky dodge. Clever girl. Yo, rotten baby. Just put your flies to work on the angel fetuses and we're good. I think this is it. You had to spawn one more wave of those angel fetuses before you left, didn't you, you jerk off? This should be fine. This should be fine. I wish that we'd managed to make this work on the first run, though, with the devil card. Because he actually is getting a little ornery, you know? He's, he's like, making a, a quick pass at us before he leaves. Like that right there. Oh, thank God. Oh, I haven't heard him enough. I made a mistake there. A subtle mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. <gasps> oh, the RNG Jesus has smiled upon us. That is not me. That is RNG Jesus. That is that is incredibly lucky. I don't know how many lives we have left, but we still have the cat head, so we got at least one. Oh, my balls. My motherfucking balls. They hurt like I just got kicked in the dirt. Doesn't make any sense, but here we go. We made it to the chest. No problem. I didn't drop the left hand. Please, come through in the clutch. Come through. Make me not regret it. <gasps> it's Guppy. I think we take Guppy's head. I think we take Guppy's head. Oh my god, we became Guppy. And we know exactly where we're going. Don't fuck with me, dog. Flies, flies, fly, my pretties! Uh, thank you. Did failing to drop the left hand just save our ass? It may have. 
I'm s <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Oh, that room could have been scary, but instead it's very easy. These guys shouldn't be too, too bad. Not much of a fly army left, but that's okay. So we'll use the sun card when slash if blue baby gets low enough um, that we can probably kill him with it. Otherwise, it could be a waste. It's not even that big of a coup. It's only going to do like, you know, 5% of his HP or something like that. But, you know, better to use it than not use it. We popped it. Close. We did it. Holy shit. Hey, we won as a lost. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, though. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Ooh